techniques siddha medicine ayurveda martial arts and he used to stay in a mountain called agastya mountain yeah, that is the southern part of pachima ghat as a mountain range from maharashtra to tamil nadu kerala area and this is the border of kerala and tamil nadu the last year i made a special trip to go to this place and they are preserving over 2000 medicines nobody can go and pluck it from the land they are pres- preserving those area and highly valuable medicines can treat even it can make gold silver solid mercury from these plants this is very and one of the saint from that tradition is siddha prabhakar ji that's here sitting here i saw him when i was a little from <coughs> your native temple he sit under the banyan tree there's a found foundation around this tree with all the rocks and very hard to look at him because his eyes are pierced in tight that's the way it is yeah, very sharp and he never eat food you go there you know who are you where you came from you are all the past and the future that's the way and last tuesday we had a student here he had i am related with him through another friend during amma's event so he came to the class and next to it is swami bhuva so cousin of swami shivananda swami shivananda is a person sent all the monks to west teach yoga because of that we have thousands of yoga teachers around the world because of it and swami bhuva was in new york since early 60s he was a yoga teacher to shah of iran he stayed in his palace seven years and he came to america in his shah's plane and settled down in new york so i saw him when i was little in my hometown then i never saw him then when i got my visa to come here I, I was visiting Sathya Sai Baba. So he said, when you go to New York, you have to find Swami Bhuva. So I remember him from childhood. You know. So I came here, I was looking for Swami Bhuva. I cannot find any email, website, no. even no phone number. And one day I went to Ganesh Temple, then I saw him sitting here. So I talked with him. Then always I go to his place. end up his character he was 123 that time <laughs> yeah. and he is a person blow the shell at the un first time and the major event was in 2000 there was a millennium religious series conference happened at the un i went with him to the un yeah. then he asked me to blow the shell three times during when i was staying with him. I just continued on. Yeah. In 2007, I left New York. I don't want to live here. I didn't see any benefit for me. You know. Then back to India. Then he came, stayed with me in my house two weeks. Asked me to come back to implement the the Nath Dev Yoga. Then we implement. Even though Modi is taking all the name for that. Right? <laughs> that is my project i'm so proud of myself my team you know a lot of people helped me to have that too, you know congratulations to everyone now effort now we are more active at the un so sen is always supporting me i am rat boy is there and in last april we got the association with the dpi so rat boy has the pass now Uh, Anand has the pass, Sajid has the pass. I still use her pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I just keep that to her. Yeah. 
You have to renew it because time has gone. Yeah, maybe. So, anyway, overall, we have a good group of 